Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Barfelian. So as you can see, once again we are now back in Kellendim. We have a few quests to hand in, but something else I didn't notice from last time is that we actually had a quest item drop in our bags. Uh, so we've got this iron collar, which presumably, judging by the name, would have dropped from one of the wolves that we were killing. Uh, so if we put that in our bags, we can start a new quest. Looking closely at this crude collar, you can see that this is not the handiwork of elves or dwarves. Perhaps Orvalas will be able to discern some measure of insight from the collar. We should deliver it to him at the elf camp on the northern edge of Nanhilif. Okay, so we're going back up the hill. Uh, so we can accept that. But we do have three quests that we can hand in back in Kellandim proper. So uh, the first of these hand-ins is uh, Brigadier over here. Sweelide Melon. More wood? Excellent. I have been kept busy enough to think that I may soon need assistance. You have my thanks for this delivery, Aureen. This wood will serve nicely as a cask for fine elven wine. May Govanen, might you spare a moment of your time? Minstrel, if you would take a moment, I have a request for you. A dear friend to me, Brethelwen, spends her days tending to the grapes at Limiel's vineyard to the north and west. She sent word to me not long ago that she required a cask for a special wine she wanted to present upon the white ships. I have crafted a cask for her, but need someone to take it to her since the preparations for our departure keep me very busy. Would you take the cask to her? You will find her to the north and west at Limeo's vineyard. So this is going to vector us on to one of the other quest hubs. And we have a couple of other elves down the bottom. Once we've summoned our horsey. Um, we can go downstairs and see what they have to say. Now, something else I'm hoping as well is that while I'm recording this, um, the neighbours are not going to crack out the power tools because they've they've gone quiet for a while, and it should be safe. But I do apologise if they start drilling at any point. Um, but we might have to see what we do if they if they do start. Anyway, so um, Cardivore. The shadow is on my spirit. This is Avafal's satchel. I'm certain of it. Did you see this pattern on the side? Avafal stitched that himself long ago. You bring me foul tidings, Orween. You are sure there were no other signs of Avafal? Some sign that my son might have been hiding nearby, safe from wolves or other dangers, but too far away to reclaim his satchel. Nay, that is a weak hope, and I must not trust to it. Some foe has brought down my son, my Avafal. That is the only answer. Will you hear my sorrows? The goblins have slain my son, Aureen, and for that we will sweep them from Erid Luin. No goblin will take as much as three steps into these lands before uh, we are there to greet him with sword blade or arrowhead. Go forth and slay goblins wherever you find them, and cry aloud the name of Avafal. I would have the foul creatures know whose doom has come upon them. While you were gone, word came to me that Limar's vineyard has been defiled by goblins led by a vile creature called Pamprausch. Seek out Pamprausch and his minions and slay them in the name of Avafal. Limar's vineyard lies northwest of Kalendim. So kill, kill the boss and kill some uh, mini dudes and we get uh, an earring. Um, so uh, he's, he's given up on his son pretty pretty easy there. Um, but I can't remember if, if his son is genuinely dead or just uh, missing in action. Um, so the third quest is up here. There we go. Me, Govanin. Your news gladdens my heart, Aureen, and I'm eager to walk among the ruins as I once did, with the sky over my head and the sun on my face. The cool shadows cast by the walls will no longer be a, remained, a reminder of the shadow in the east, but out of respite and restoration. So we get a uh, shoulder pads, which is not going to be as good as I've got. Milan. Will you stay a moment? My brother Kalinga was staying at Dwilond, our refuge to the north. Like me, he also strives to restore the old places to their pristine state, and may need your help. Follow the road to the high ground above Kalendim, then make your way north for a gap in the hills to reach the refuge. So this is now vectoring us to Dwilon, which is another one of the uh, future quest hubs. Um, so we need to go back up the hill to um, to back to Nen Hillif at the camp where we didn't hand in that item from the bags earlier. But um, I suppose while we're looking up there. Let's have a look at some of the other pieces we need to do. So, since we are beyond level 7 now, we're now actually level 9, um, we can now choose our trait trees. So, as I've talked about previously, and I've no doubt talked about previous instances when we were playing a minstrel, uh, we have our three trait lines. So, the blue trait line is the minstrel's healing trait line. So, generally, they're only going to be doing that in a group situation. 
the red trait line is the damage trait line, so that's what you're most likely using to solo. And the yellow trait line is more focusing on buffing and more support kind of uh, gameplay. So, so generally you're going you're to be red to solo, blue in a group, providing you're the main healer, otherwise you probably end up in red. Um, but as the game goes on, you might find that you can get more benefit out of specking yellow, even though you're going to be in a healing role, than, than blue. And cross-trading a lot of traits from yellow, even though you're in blue. Um, just because you'll get more use, more mileage out of uh, the supportive buff effects than you would out of uh, pure healing, uh, if you will. So, um, so stand here next to this guy. So we're just going to go to spec uh, the red trait line. Now, because we're level 9, we have two trait points. We've got one at level 7 one at level 9. We get one every other uh, level at the low levels. So we have um, crit chance and crit damage. We can make piercing cry potentially stun. And we have ballad and coder damage. So personally, I would, I would go with that for my number 1. Just because um, that stun could be quite useful. A 5 second hard stun. Uh, then probably the ballad and coder damage, just because that's going to be the... the um, bread and butter of our of our attacks. We'll be using our calls and cries as much as we can, but we won't have those available all the time. So this just kind of buffs our overall damage. Um, not to say that, of course, that that the quick chance and quick multiplier is bad. Um, it's just out of those three, I would go in that order. So we'll take those two. We shall talk to uh, Orvalus. What do you need? I know this handiwork. It is the handiwork of goblins. We must inform the others in Kellendim. If the goblins have grown this aggressive, then we must do what we can to drive them back from our homes. And um, we can pick a health potion. Might you spare a moment of your time? We cannot let another moment pass without informing others of the arrival of the goblins. Perhaps Lord Dolinger's protection is weakening as we make our way to the shores to depart. Or perhaps the enemy grows stronger faster than we expect. Regardless, Aurene, we must send word back to Kellendim and my superior there. Quickly, return to Lanin, the Glade Watcher, at Kellendim. And tell him of what you have found. You will find Lenin at the docks in Kaladim, northwest of this vale. So mount up. I'm um, going to have to go back to Kaladim before we go somewhere else. Um, yeah, some of the other things we can talk about. So of the minstrel's traits. So as a minstrel, we are proficient in all we all um, instruments, with the exception of the more cowbell and the bagpipes for which we still need to get a um, tome to teach us how to try those instruments. But everything else we will either learn um, purely by leveling up to certain levels. I think most of them you're probably gonna have like by like level 10 or maybe 20 at most, you'll, you'll probably acquire them. Um, so you don't need to learn any tomes for those, you just need to, to be the appropriate level. Uh, but a lot of them you will have available at the start of the game. So, um, whereas other classes you only get three instruments. Um, it's got complicated recently with the addition of, of the fiddle. Um, but I believe every class can play three instruments, which is going to be... I think it tends to either be the lute, horn and clarinet. Some combination of those two... Like everyone can play lute, and then half the classes can play horn, half of them can play clarinet, um, and then everyone can play fiddle ever since that was introduced. Whereas everything else you have to learn by a by a tome if you're a minstrel, or a minstrel can mentor you to play that, um, providing they can mentor that particular instrument, uh, which is something else they also have to learn. Right, so we need to speak to this guy. So a word of warning. Greetings to you. This discovery is worrisome. I will see that this information is passed along to Lord Doranger at Dweeland. We would never have learned of this if not for you, Aureen. We are in your debt. And there we go, so we've done that. We can now head northwest. There should be no more quests available in Kellendim apart from um, um, the, the crafting quest, which we're not too fussed about. So we're going to head northwest. Now, Limau's Vineyard is closer to us, it's just over here, just past the river compared to Dweelon, so we need to go over the bridge and then head west, because we need to be on the northern shore. So as you can see, as we head up here, we're going to have this uh, fancy bridge. And uh, yeah, sometimes I, I could get this weird bug where this bridge wouldn't spawn, which is really weird. Um, but it is there. But anyway, up and over here, and then we'll see that there's some trees up there. We need to climb up on top of this cliff. 
So if we just come around a little bit more, uh, we should be able to climb up here and follow it around. And obviously you can see that there is a road going up this way as well. Now it's quite possible around here, I'm not sure if they spawned this far up, but we have been getting some patches of flowers spawning at the moment. In case you're wondering what those are, they're in relation to the Spring Festival. Um, which has uh, recently started uh, coming online on the servers. They've got some a couple of new things this year. I may or may not dabble my toes in there. We might go do the, the, the um, uh, what do you call it? I want to say shroom stomp. <laughs> True stomp. There we go. Um, not mushrooms. But um, that's that's over in Dwelon, so we might we might do that while we're there um, at some point. May Gavanen. I only wish that this thoughtful gift from Bregador did not arrive during such dire times with the situation at the vineyard. I fear that the cask may go empty for our journey. You may be of service to me. By this time of the year. If you can hear that, the neighbours are drilling. <laughs> By this time of the year, most of the grapes have been picked and the wine already bottled. This was a very generous season, however, and many of the vines are still laden with grapes. I would welcome your assistance. Wine making is not easy work, but performing this task will certainly add appreciation of the wine you drink. Harder still when nasty goblins find their way into the fields and drive you off. I think, though, you, you might be sturdy enough to aid me. If you would, gather the grapes from the vines. Still hale and hearty enough, and I will see that this cask is filled with the finest this vale has to offer. Sorry for the drilling, guys. <laughs> oh dear. The vineyard is below us, and further to the west along the stone path. Be careful of the goblins. They are particularly nasty. So hopefully, hopefully the, the drilling noises is not as bad as for you as it is for me, but it's probably going to get picked May up by the mic. Warning. Might you spare a moment of your time? My friend, I wonder if I can ask you to undertake a task for me. It is bad enough that the goblins despoil Limao's vineyard, but recently a party of the wretched creatures broke into an old wine cellar and stole a number of flasks of a rare and ancient vintage. No doubt the evil creatures have already drunk or destroyed most of the wine, but if you can recover any of the bottles from the goblins in this area, I would be deeply in your debt. You can find the goblins through Limao's vineyard. I would not venture beyond into the Raft Tareg, however, as the goblins there are rather more dangerous. So, uh, mount up. So we need to uh, defeat goblins, collect wine flasks. Hello, goblins. Okay, well. Alright. Pull a few of you guys on the way in. So we need to get f six defilers, four sentinels on the way in. We'll just reverse in, take anyone along the way. That's an Amphima, I don't want that there. I need to sort out all my buttons because they're not in the places I'm expecting them to be when I actually want to do certain attacks. And yes, there is going to be a Goblin Slayer for this region. We require 30 Goblins for the, uh, the normal deed, 60 for the advanced. We get five lottery points, we get Guardian of Arid Luin as a title, and some reputation with Foreign's Hall, which is the local reputation faction for uh, Arid Luin. So yes, even though it is the Elf Starter region, there's no Elven reputation in this region, it's purely uh, Foreign's Hall. There we go, so these are the grapevines that we can interact with to get some stuff. Uh, we've got four around here, we need six though, so there's probably going to be a few more a little bit further in. grab all these there we go so yeah if you're paying attention to the to the festival you'll see this statement here a game of stomper shrew is about to begin in dweeland and i think normally it is an orange font i don't think that's something i've customized um so if you if you see that that means uh, the game's about to begin the game is kind of near the stable master it's just on this this road in dweeland there's like a cave probably not too far from the stable master um where you can enter and you, you can participate in that game it does get a bit rowdy though, uh, particularly if you're on a busier server. So you might struggle to uh, win that game or or do particularly well in terms of your scoring. But uh, it's worth a go if you, if you like festivals. Alright, how are we doing? We need 
This is about our last sentinel. We need two more defilers. So, all these grapevines seem to be around the various lakes. That makes them easy to find. That will be number six, so we can bring that back to the quest NPC. Now we need to defeat Pamproush. Where's Pamproush on our map? Could be generically anywhere in this area. Okay, and there's a screamy goblin nearby. Uh, we need two defilers. There's one over here. There's two over here. Fantastic. Oh, actually, I pulled two. Oh, one's a sentinel. That's no good. Tell you what, let's go Melody. How much is the AoE damage off this? Not a huge amount. Might still be quicker overall. Jesus Christ, how many of you are there? I'm doing quite a few bleeds as well. I don't think those bleeds are too painful. Eight damage a second effectively. But they do stack. It adds up. So do watch out. There we go, six defilers dead. So we need to still collect two casks. Uh, Pamprasha, I presume, is going to be to the north of us, judging by that circle. So let's head in that direction. We'll stay up here just in case we can see. All right, there's a random dude here. What are we looking for? Defiler, gouger, no. It's quite possible that uh, the other chap who's questing around here might have actually killed the NPC we need, which would be a little bit awkward. Um, no, I don't want to join your fellowship. I just want to kill the boss and be done with it. Where is the boss mob? Is he going to spawn down here? Where are we in the region? It should be. Yeah, he's probably just meant to be up in this tiny bit at the top. Uh, so we might just have to wait around here until he respawns. But anywho, so what else can we talk about with the minstrel stuff? Uh, that's probably about it for the minstrel itself. But we can probably talk as well a bit about the uh, the high elf's traits as well. Or do we want to save that for another video given that we're nearly done? Um, there we go. Handbrush. Murder. I presume the other, the other guys might be trying to do their goblin quest uh, slayer deed as well, so that's probably why they're trying to get me uh, into a group so they can kill it together and we can all get the credit. But since I'm going to be on my merry way as soon as I've killed this guy. There we go. So we can now head back to uh, the NPC, hand these in, and that probably round out about the right time for an episode, so we'll end up bringing quite a few friends back. Judging by the look of it. Hop down here. Inevitably we're going to have to pull some of these guys because we can't dodge through all of them. So we'll do our best. We'll try not to fall off the cliff because that would also suck. I uh, can probably thread that a bit. And hopefully if we get up here, most of them will reset. Is this one still going to come? There's the last one I think. Die. There we go. Right. Hand these in. Make of Anon. Ah, very good. You have done all that I could ask. Thank you for your efforts. Those wicked creatures will learn better than to raid my wine cellars in the future. So, take a pair of trousers. We're going to ding to level 10. We're going to get a load of things. We're going to get the instance finder because we can now participate in uh, the epic battles. Uh, I can also equip the fancy jewellery that I've been hogging in my bags. Shiny, shiny blue quality jewellery, which is going to be really good. Um, that come out of various loot boxes. Um, so yeah, some of those I don't even have anything in the slot, so uh, that's going to massively boost me up. Um, very good, Aureen. Years from now, your efforts today will bring great joy to many. Hard work brings satisfaction, not just in winemaking, but in all things. 
Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? All filled and ready for delivery. I would like to thank you for your assistance, Aureen, as I would not have been able to see this last bit of harvest along without you. This cask is meant for another, however. I should like to see it sent along to my friend Bregador. It was he who sent it to me, after all. Why should he not have the finest wine in all the valley? If you would, take this back to him at Kelendim. Follow the path to the east and turn towards the southeast across the bridge. You will find him at the crafter's market. So uh, there we go. So that rounds out the Limeo's uh, vineyard bit. So we now have to go back to Cardivore, back at Kelendim. Uh, take the cast back to Kelendim, and then presumably we're going to go off to Dweeland after that. So uh, that's about a good place to stop as any. So I think we'll stop there, and next episode we'll carry on. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.